Next question is from Matthew Lemming. What are your current thoughts on CrossFit? Uh, so as a sport, it's awesome. Love to watch it. As a workout modality, it sucks. Uh, it still sucks. CrossFit's uh, approach to training. Now, they've done some amazing things. They've brought some great things to the fitness they've space. They've done a ton of They've done a ton of stuff. Uh, a a ton yeah. of great things for the fitness space. Uh, they got people squatting and deadlifting and doing all the best exercises. They got barbells to be cool, uh, especially with women. CrossFit did that almost single-handedly. But the programming that they employ, unless you're going to compete in the sport of CrossFit, um, isn't very great. Um, mm -hmm. You know, case in point, right? Uh, Olympic lifts in a fatigue-based circuit. It's one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, very yes. complex exercise where they're safe, but there's a razor thin line between safe and dangerous. Your form goes off a little bit. It's very dangerous. And one of the last things you ever do with exercise like that is do them to fatigue or for time um, in a circuit-based type of, of a workout. Um, so for, for those reasons, the programming, I mean, I think back to all the clients I've trained, and unless they wanted to compete in CrossFit, would I recommend any of them go work out with mm -hmm. that CrossFit modality? No, no I wouldn't. Not no. at all. Yeah, I mean, it, you got to really evaluate the quality of some of the uh, types of exercises they promote, and and you know what kind of environment it is. Like, there's there's the environment is to to be able to get you through as many reps as possible, like AMRAP and all these types of acronyms and things that you know you attribute to CrossFit. It's it's really about like trying to make things as competitive as possible. So you have regular pull-ups turn into kipping pull-ups where you're just like getting through this type of uh, you know momentum where mm -hmm. I could just I could just swing my way through this and you, you have to evaluate what you know the long-term damage that's going to do to your joints and it, it's just like it's it's appealing to athletes and so this is why I came out as, as with a, such a hard stance initially in the beginning because there's a lot of appeal to that type of mentality coming into that environment yeah I'm gonna smash it I'm gonna get after it um, uh, everybody in here is, you know, like, uh, you know, we're all suffering together. Like it, it's, it's the environment of suffrage. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of appeal there. That's what's being promoted in marketing. But there's they're just not exposed to 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 real training concepts and core values where you get better. You progress. Uh, you go through these things like there's a there's a limitation to that. And there's also an injury on the other side of what a lot of the programming presents. I, I want to be very clear on who I'm talking to and who I'm not talking to. So it, if I'm talking to somebody who is pretty young, pretty fit, athletic background, pretty mobile, loves the community, um, it's made them more consistent than they've ever been in their life. They've watched their squat and deadlift progress. They don't have any aches or pains and they, they love it. They love, they love training this way. Like that's, I'm not talking to you. You're a very small percentage. I, I'm talking to the first question that we just had, right? We just had somebody which is actually more like the people I'm used to training, which is somebody who is trying to lose a bunch of weight and is struggling to get to their, you know, or figure out their quote unquote set point and get to a place where they can maintain a weight and feel happy about where they're at. This is most people that we train most of our life. And a super intense competitive environment of training is one of the worst things that that person can be in because that person is, it's not, it's already, it's already tough for that person to get fit and to get in shape. That is not sustainable for most people. And Justin's right. It appeals to that athletic mindset, my ex athletes. But if you are trying to make change to your body and you want, whether that be losing body fat or building muscle, you want to make aesthetic change. It's just, it's not an ideal modality and it's definitely not. And maybe it is to get some people there, right? They, they see quick results because of how high intensity is. You're doing all these great compound lifts and you have the community and the support. And so they think that this is a really good modality that they should stay in. The reality is it's, it's really tough to train that way for a long period of time. I see some even of our friends that are big CrossFit names like the Jason Kalipas and stuff. And I, pay, I watch like their Instagram, my buddy, Neil Maddox, like, and man, I go, God, I would... I would hate here. I'm approaching 40 right now that my workouts always would look like that. I just, I have no desire to train that way. It's just, it's, it's a lot. And it's a lot for a guy who likes fitness. I love fitness. I love to, I love to challenge myself. I love training. And I know how much that's just a lot to try and get up and train that way all the time. And so if it's that way for me, I know 
it's that way for many of my clients that were trying to lose a hundred pounds or just want to feel good. And so this this whole craze around CrossFit, I I mean, we predicted it four or five years ago to watch it start to die, and we've been watching it die off for the last two years. You don't hear nowhere well, near what you used to hear about it. They said current thoughts. I mean, I, I honestly, I don't even know what that community looks like anymore. I know there was a big shift uh, towards like elderly community and like kind of changing and re restructuring a lot of the programming to be more health conscious. And like, it, it's interesting the, to see what's happening. The truth is it's getting a lot better. Yeah. It's getting a lot better. So I have less problems with, but the reality of why it's getting a lot better is because it's getting more like real training. Yeah. Right? It's, it's moving away. Yeah. From so it's not really CrossFit trying anymore. Trying to appeal to act, like a, actual average people. Because the, the arguments I get into with people about this after, because of course this will piss a bunch of people off that want to fucking stir shit up with us. So bring it. Okay. The conversation, <laughs> Conversation I always get is, oh well, at my box we do this and we do that. Okay, motherfucker, that's training. Yeah. Okay, that's no longer CrossFit anymore. CrossFit like you're is not a, under that umbrella anymore. Right. It's and that's what what's happening. The reason why it's still surviving is because they've had to pivot away from what it started. I mean, it started off with a clown throwing up. Yeah. You know that was that was where we were trying to get everybody to push like that. That's ridiculous. On dialysis. And it's staying around because it has changed and more so much. But then it's just starting to look more and more like real personal training. Mm -hmm. So it's like. It's it's not really CrossFit anymore. So if you are here to argue with me that it's great or your box that you train, well, you probably have a good trainer yeah. that works there and realizes him or herself. They're that, doing functional training. Yeah. And they're is, trying to help you. I yeah, get it. Smart.